It's my turn. Mm -hmm. And, uh, new spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this poem is for my mom, my Aunt Carol, my Aunt Jeannie, and my grandmother who always said, we come from good stock. This is a calling of the phoenix. Reluctant to pick up a pen, it's personal. I'm gonna take you back to the summer of 2010 where I saw my mother, her two sisters, show themselves as warriors with a simple disguise as butterflies, elegant in their strength. The youngest never felt bold was beautiful, not sure what makes her feminine, losing part of the defined physical, she's a survivor. All the while, placing her thoughts on shoulders that never fought, my mother listened. Still mourning the loss of my grandmother, whose shoulders did you have to lean on? Cause mom, I'm still trying to figure out how you carried this family on the backs of bended butterfly wings. What song did you sing? Cause I was questioning the difficulty of this whole life thing. Feeling numb to the world, my mind was heavy and my soul silenced and unsaid. Easy is never good. But I felt my being snap as I watched the middle warrior never flail in her fate as she mourned her husband's death. With one life look, he took his lungs filled with water. I know what it's like to feel like you're drowning, like your insides are constantly frowning. It's unnerving, so overwhelming. So I sat on the back of my childhood steps and wept, saying, Fuck you to God, I don't need you, I don't want you, and how could you? There's gotta be a better way out of the darkness than that, like a lamp beneath my feet, but all I got to express is a panicked heartbeat. Where is the promise in this? And he sat, patiently waiting, saying, Slow down, child. That death was meant to shake you, and so it shook you. I promise you, you are not drowning. That there is more fire inside of you than what you will realize, and that you will be reminded of beauty from butterflies. But you are not one of them, so you cannot just flutter by, just breathe. Because in order for a phoenix to rise from its own ashes, it first must burn. Let the air of life fuel you as passion consumes you. And the reason why you are crying right now is because you are healing, are you not feeling? So go ahead, breathe, burn, and rise. Thank you very much, everyone. This concludes Spoken Word tonight. I will see you in two weeks. <laughs> Thank you.